We started with a composite skeleton based on Lafarassi 1 and other finds, and over nearly three months, we've carefully been reconstructing him. With extraordinary attention to detail, the muscles were painstakingly added to rebuild his body. His face was recreated using forensic techniques. Then the skin and hair were added. Now he's finished and he's here. So should we go and have a look? Absolutely. I can't wait. Yeah. This is so exciting. We have literally never seen this before. Under a sheet. Go on, Invictor. Wow. wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow, it's awesome. He's really lifelike. Yeah, the nose is really uh, prominent. That's yeah. just fantastic. Still trying to get my head around the fact that this guy is in my ancestry and not that far back. John, what do you think? Give me a break. You look like twins. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? I mean, this just looks like a living, breathing Nanzatol. I'm slightly freaked out by him, actually. I, I, I just think he's going to start moving. That is unbelievable. It's uncanny. It's John, what do, you, what do you reckon? You know, it's, it's just got this sort of humanizing effect to put the flesh on. And, uh, and it's the challenge is to make something that's different from us look different. Yeah. When, in fact, yeah. the details point to great similarity. Oh, I can just imagine him striding off. <laughs> yeah. What do you, what do you yeah. reckon? Is he muscly okay. enough? Yeah. He's got to be, but it's really impressive, isn't it? It's a case where focusing on bone doesn't give the whole picture. Yeah. Victor, such a good job. Mm -hmm. He's absolutely well, brilliant. 